Hi guys, welcome to After 10. My name is Chris, and today we're going to do the final beer for this week in the theme week of 2022. First week of January, kind of, well, technically going into the second week of January, but I don't really care about details. Today we're going to take a look at, again, from Calabau Brewing out of Blythe, Ontario. We're going to look at another flagship one of their beers. We're looking at Absent a Landlord. This is a Kolsch. Um... It's a country Kolsch, they call it. Um, the Kolsch style. I don't have a lot of Kolsches in my life, to be honest with you. Just a style that I really don't gravitate towards. Because it's more of a bland beer for me. For me, it's it's if this is anything like a Kolsch style or a Kolsch beer, it's going to have a little bit of a grassiness to it. A little bit of a, a very light kind of... Like Pilsner-ish or Lager-ish kind of uh, feel to it. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at this can right here. All right, so Calbell Brewing again from Blythe, Ontario. Uh, we are looking at Absent Landlord. It is a country Kolsch. Uh, it's coming in at 473 milliliters in this can. 5.3% uh, alcohol by volume. IBUs listed on the side of this can say it's 18 which is pretty cool. And uh, it says to drink this beer at three degrees Celsius. Perfect. Fridge is set to four. Pulled it out of the fridge about 10 minutes ago. Should be three degrees now. Why not? And with that being said, most cultures are supposed to be drank at above 10 degrees Celsius, but we'll see what we got here in this can. Let's pour it. Oh, she's a... Uh... It's a light looking beer for sure. Alrighty. 5.3% alcohol. It's lowest alcohol content on all these cowbell beers I've had this week. Let's look at this. I was gonna I was gonna smell it, but I'm gonna look at it first. Alright. It did pour off with about a finger pad and now it's that's nah, sticking around a little bit. Sure, why not? Um it's unfiltered, but filtered at the same time there's there's some a very tiny particulate just floating in there nothing you know nothing like sparkle chunks or anything like that it's it's they're just suspended in the air there it is filtered but i would say more semi-filtered um coming off uh there's there it is right there if you look at right there that's what it looks like to me with the light on the side of that camera there on that side of the video it's coming off a little bit darker but anyway Let's take a smell. Oh, yeah, a little bit of a grassy tones to this one. I like it. A little earthy tones to it. And not much else, to be honest with you. You're, you're picking up a little bit of that generic lager or generic pilsner kind of smell, but other than that, no. Smells like a Kolsch, I guess. Cheers! Let's drink it. It'll be a short video. Probably not. Not if I keep dragging it on like I haven't taken a sip yet. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is super refreshing. There's some lemon bitterness, a lot, like a little lemon zestiness on this one. That's really coming through on the taste there, especially on the first half of that palate. You're getting, when, you, when I take a sip of this beer, that lemon flavor or that lemon zest and uh, even maybe even a little bit of that lemon body i guess or the juice from it from a lemon or whatever coming through on the taste is coming through right at the first half of this beer this is a totally a crushable summer beer for sure yeah right there right at the very beginning you get that lemon then it goes into a, a semi bitter a semi bitterness i guess a little bit of a bitterness on this one I want to say there's a little bit of a drying finish on this one, but more to the not really dry, but there's a little bit of a drying aspect to the end of this beer. Yeah, crushable, 100%. Dangerous too. Well, not really dangerous. 5.3. 5.3 summer crusher all day on this coal. So you know what? I forgot how fucking these ones tasted, to be honest with you. And I'm going to have to gravitate towards a coal in the spring or summer. For sure. Um, so let's talk about the mouthfeel on this one. It is 5.3%. It is thin. I wasn't expecting it to have a big body on it. Anything around 
in the 5% range or lower is probably going to be thin unless it, unless whoever brews whatever beer is just going to dump a whole bunch of oats in the thing to, to thicken up the body. This one, no, it's a Kolsch, right? So you're not getting all that extra adjuncts thrown in there for the body. This is more about the taste, more about the flavor, and not as much about the body on this one. Anyway, that's for sure. Uh, 5.3, obviously you can't tell. Like I said, this is summer crusher all day. Wow, I'm actually quite impressed with Cowbell this week. See, their hazy days, the one that I did a little while ago, wasn't it was okay i mean I, like i wasn't going to be offended by it if somebody passed me that beer and said you want to have this i'd be like yeah sure why not but the last three this is a founding beer again like um the bobcat was one of the, the first beers brewed by these guys apparently um and so absent landlord again is one of those ones as well so this one's been around for a while and there's a reason for it i think this one won an award in 2021 i think it was canadian brewer award i think i can't remember i don't want to look at my phone right now because i'm using my phone to record my voice but it did win craft beer award for probably kolsch i'm assuming for this beer i don't know look it up if you care i kind of do i kind of want to look it up and, and see what for sure what it said but other than that guys in my own opinion and this week's theme beers of from cowbell the Absent Landlord is actually quite refreshing. I'm going to definitely pick this one up again, especially when it gets a little bit warmer. When, it, when we go into the spring and summer, crushing this one all day. Sit in the hot tub, I'm in a few of these, naked. Anyway, uh, I'm done with my own opinion on this one, guys. If you want, subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you liked the video, click the like down below. And if you have had any of the three beers that I reviewed this week from Cowbell, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you thought. Other than that, I'm done. Peace out. Thanks for watching. And maybe next week I'll do another theme week. Maybe I'll just do random beers. I don't know. I wing it anyway. Bye-bye.